Okay, everybody coming to you from in my office and you can watch me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. If you are constantly feeling like you're looking for a client, there is a better way. And today, hopefully after this video, you're going to feel so much better and so much relief that there's actually an easier way of looking for a client. So if you're constantly feeling like you're chasing client or you're hunting for a client, here's my truth or my reality. I'm going to hit you with the reality. <laughs> but you don't have to. You shouldn't be. There's a lot of activity that we do on a daily basis as a coach, as a business owner. And technically, there's a lot of things that you shouldn't be doing, but you are. And which is why you feel overwhelmed. You feel like there's all over the place and you feel like social media is just not doing you a favor because you've been focusing on talking to people, but somehow you're not seeing the result. Right? Most coaches spend so much time trying to find the client instead of focusing on the activities that's actually going to grow their coaching business. And what are some of the activities that I'm going to talk about? Well, <clears throat> something like this doing video would be one. So let's talk about what are some of the activity that's actually going to generate revenue. One of the things I noticed, especially when you're first starting out, the, the things that people tell you to do, right? They, they say, well, you need to go out there, you need to do things, but they don't really tell you exactly what you need to do. So you're sitting there like scratching your head. Okay, I got that I'm supposed to be doing something, but exactly what am I supposed to do? So you might be finding yourself going to uh, networking events or connecting with others and sending DM. That's one of the things, right? If you go to a group, the strategy has always suggested that when you go into a group, you find those people who's also inside the group, you send them a DM and hopefully you connect somewhere and somehow you invite them to be your friend. And while that is one type of strategy that might work, right? But you'll notice that it's eating up a lot of your time. You have to do that on a one-to-one -one basis, meaning that I have to find somebody inside the group and I'm like, oh, I'm going to send that person a friend request and I'm going to have a conversation with that one person. Now, if you have uh, a group that has 400 people or 500 people in there, or sometimes some of the bigger group that says 1,000 people in there, in order to find that one person, you have to send your messaging to at least right, 100 or 500. And hopefully you get one or two or three, maybe 10 replies. And out of those 10 replies, maybe someone would be interested to hopping onto a call with you. So you end up spending a lot of time just working on your DM, like working on your messaging. I mean, I can create templates, like send a copy and paste it into all these uh, private messaging and just copy and paste, right? And this is why sometimes you'll get one of those uh, messages that has, hey, Michelle, or hey, Alice, right? <laughs> Got your first name totally wrong because it's copy and pasting um, just to save us some time. And that's the reason why some of the strategies, that's more of what I consider as one-to-one -one strategy versus what I'm I'm really passionate about is one to many strategies and what I'm about to show you and talk about is something that you wouldn't have to chase you wouldn't have to look for that client all the time and this is something that a couple of days ago I put inside a post inside the thread I put something like this the best coaches don't always get the most client it is the best marketer who do <laughs> <laughs> and that one, that message on the thread got a lot of reactions and a lot of attention because as, as sad as it sounds, it is true, right? The best marketer are the one who's getting all the clients while the best coaches are sitting there and, and spending all this time doing what you're supposed to do as a great coach. 
but you're not getting the client. So today we're going to talk about how to solve that by just one simple shift, just one simple thing you're probably already doing and how can we amplify that? And those of you who's watching this video, in case you didn't know, I am running a visibility marketing bootcamp. It's going to start on Friday, September 20th. Inside this bootcamp, I'm going to talk a lot more about how do you market yourself? How do you position yourself in front of the audience? And how do you use what I'm talking about today to actually help you to bring more client into your coaching business. All right, without further ado, my solution to you, right? Instead of doing the, the private messaging, instead of doing that one-to-one -one conversation, here's what I want you to think about. Right? The more people that you're able to be in front of, you're increasing the probability of someone who's actually interested and you're actually talking to the right person by the time they jump onto your discovery call. So how do you shift from a one-to-one -one that requires your attention, that requires you actually copy and paste and one of the things that I should talk about is that when you're first starting out, you might not have the resources to hire out someone like a virtual assistant who can help you to copy and paste all these uh, messages to the chat, right? You're pretty much on a team solo. <laughs> Drop solo inside the chat if you are team solo right now. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I have been a team solo for many, many years, many, many times. And this is why I love what I'm about to show you and today. Okay. I like the one to many strategy rather than the one to one strategy because it saved me so much time. And I hope that by sharing this with you, that's also going to help you to actually ground yourself. There's so many things that you can do in your coaching business, but these are the top 20%, it's included in that 20% of the activity that's going to bring you revenue, is going to bring you profit, it's going to generate more leads for you, okay? So in case you're sitting there and wondering how, to, how can I get more leads, what I'm about to show you today is going to help you to get more leads, okay? But the underlying requirement is you do have to follow through. This does take some time to build it up, and which is why the sooner that you start practicing this, the better. So what is that solution? Like who's dying to know what that solution is? Okay, so the solution that I'm sh sharing with you is something called content marketing. Like what is content marketing? And you're probably doing this already. You're creating content. What is the content that you're creating? You're creating videos like this, right? It could be an eight minutes to 15, or sometimes some of you actually have topics that, that covers up to 30 minutes or 45 minutes videos that you put out, whether it's on your podcast or on your YouTube channel, or maybe you have a blog. So you put it onto your blog post. Now that one piece of content is going to get consumed by a lot lot of your audience, your majority of people who don't know about you, never heard about you, but somehow they did a Google search and your video or your article pop up. And by doing so, you're actually part of the content marketing. That's how you market your coaching business. Okay. So if you think about all the things that you're doing, all the activity that you do, that counts a very crucial top 20% of your activity in your business. So if you do nothing else at all, you should be the one who's creating those content. You should be the brain behind the video content, behind all the topic that you're talking about, behind the blog post that you're writing about. That's your pri primary focus that's going to generate revenue for you. Now we can talk more about exactly how is that going to generate revenue for you. But with today, I won't be able to cover that because I want to give you the gist of why this works and how this works. Okay. So instead of you, so think about this, you can create a piece of content like this, that's going to become evergreen, right? It's always going to, once you produce it, once you make it, it's always going to be on the internet and people can always search for it. So it become part of the evergreen. Um, and, and some of the evergreen, when you hear that term evergreen, people are immediately going into, oh, does that mean I create a webinar? No, it doesn't have to be a webinar. Anything that you produce and that's hanging out on the social media or hanging out on the internet somewhere that you put it on, it's going to be evergreen because some years or months or weeks down in the line, someone is going to be able to stop upon it, right? It's never going to go, oh, it's never going to go 
go away as uh, as long as you keep it up. Unless you take it down, then obviously people can find it. But if as long as you keep it up, it becomes your evergreen material where you're constantly drawing the traffic to that video, to that article, or to your website, and people are constantly coming to it. Now, the better you are with the content, obviously, the better and the more traffic that you're going to have, right? So that's another big topic I'm going to cover、um, inside my program. That's one of the topics I cover very detailed in my、uh, program. But just know that by focusing on creating a value content, meaning that you're providing value, it becomes part of the evergreen content. You can use that piece of thing. You can use that piece of information, that resource, and draw in a lot more traffic into your coaching business, even while you are sleeping. Right? How cool is that? You could be sleeping, and that piece of content is going to get seen, get stumbled upon, get picked up by somewhere. A stranger out on the internet world, and that is what content marketing is, and what the benefit of having content marketing would be. Okay, so knowing what is content marketing, why does it work, and and how does it work, right? So why it works is because now you create that piece of content, that content become a consistent stream of something that's. Keep attracting people, right? Think about your own behavior. When I need to find answer to something, then I'm going to go onto internet. I'm going to Google it, and I may not know that person per se right in the moment when I found that article or when I stumble upon this video. I may not know that person, but somehow this person just share a lot of value. They share a lot of topic that I'm interested. So I start to binge watch that person. And that began my attraction to that person, and I'm going to stay in that person's world. So one of the YouTuber that I follow, she is a interior home designer, and I just happened to came across her video. I just like home interior design, and she does a lot of like project going to places and doing project for other homeowners and recreate the whole areas and rooms and make it all pretty. I binge watch her content every single week, like religiously, and I know recently she published a book, right? And so I'm going to support her by her book. And so you see how looking at your own behavior, how that piece of content is going to attract, and this way you don't have to chase them. So why does content marketing work? Because you start to attract clients without chasing them. There's no more one-to-one -one DM. Oh, I'm going to go into a group and I'm going to send that, this person. I'm going to send five, five messages to these people, and hopefully I hear back from one person. Now your strategy would be one to many because that piece of content is going to get seen by more people, and there's strategy behind how you get it seen by more people. Okay. Now, reason number two why content marketing works is because now you're building trust, right? We're building trust. We're building authority by me coming onto the videos. We're talking about a topic that I'm passionate about, and hopefully you can learn something from this as well. I'm building that trust. I'm building that bond, and I'm building that trust. I'm building that relationship. I'm building that authority because this is a topic that I'm very familiar with. I've been doing this for many years, and this is the reason why I wanted to share with you. So I'm building trust. I'm building it. Authority, and you can do this too. So that's reason number two why content marketing work. Content marketing also work because now you can leverage some of the automation, right? So some of the automation, what are they? Well, I need to schedule a short videos. I can use some of the automation tool to chop it up into small pieces, and I can put it into schedule it ahead, so that it will save me some time that I don't have to glue myself in front of the desk all the time to produce content. I can repurpose all these content that I have created. I can send it to my virtual assistant or your virtual assistant when you have the resources to hire. Then you can send it to her and have her take out some pieces, and you can repurpose it and you reuse it. And so this is another reason why content marketing works. You can start leveraging your automation so that you can buy more time to do all these other things that you're passionate about. Maybe scheduling coaching session, right? That would be something that you need more time, and that's something that you're passionate about. All right. 
So we talked about attracting the client using your content. We talked about how it's allowing you to build trust. It allows you to build authority. We also talked about how you can start leveraging some of the automation to help you send out these uh, scheduled posts a lot more quicker and without like skipping a beat, right? Because then you have always have material to send out all the time. Reason number four why it works is because when you start adapting using content marketing as part of your strategies and getting more client, you stop that direct selling process. And I know a lot of my audience, a lot of you don't feel comfortable about selling. And this is a great way of how you can demonstrate your value without actually going in there and pitching them. And I know one that's one of the things that I really hate was going into a DM and say, oh, how would you like to explore? And just by jumping onto a discovery call, I hated it. <laughs> I hated it. I'll be honest. I hated it. I would not do it and I refuse to do it. And even now, like, I don't necessarily like go in there and just say, hey, would you like to explore? And usually people come to me and say, hey, can I schedule a strategy call with you? And it feels more natural to me because I already delivered this much value, right? So people who's jumping on, obviously they already see the need and this is something that they're passionate about. They want to uh, explore in terms of how they want to work with me. Now, if you are using the old strategy where you're going to them, then it becomes at some point in that, in that conversation, you're going to have to ask and say, hey, would you like to jump onto a discovery call so we can explore? So if you are not a big fan of, hey, I, I need to do a direct sale or doing that selling, this is a great alternative for you. And it takes away the feeling of I need to sell something, sell my coaching to somebody. Okay. So content marketing is great. I love it. This is why I enjoy doing it. And especially with my personality, it just works so well. Reason number five, why content marketing works is because now when you produce something like this videos or a blog post, you have a way of measure the success that you want to accomplish. If this video is not getting seen, or if my blog post is not getting the traffic, then I have a way of improving it. I have a way of tracking it. I have a way of measuring it, right? We coaches, we often talk about setting up goals and same thing in your business. You want to set up some goals in your business and how do you set up goals you want it to be measurable you want it to be specific you want it to be having the, like this outcome that you can actually track right something that's repeatable something that's measurable and content marketing give you that benefit of being able to repeat right if something is working well that you can repeat and you can also measure so summarize with all these benefits And, and that piece of content is still working for you. The benefit number two is it allows you to build trust and authority. And benefit number three, remember, is you can start using some automation, incorporating some automation into your business that will buy you more time to do what you like to do. Re benefit number four and why it works is because now there's no direct selling and there's more of a genuine connection. If someone see the value by the time they book a call with you, they already know that this is something that they want. Benefit number five is now we're talking about something that's repeatable and something that is measurable. So how does this work, right? So again, earlier I talked about in content marketing, when you create content, that should count you with your top 20% of your time. The other 80% of your time is probably something that you can outsource, something that you don't have to do. You can hire out, like creating graphic, pulling out po uh, quotes from your blog post. Those little mundane tasks does not require your attention, your brain. What does require your brain encompass 20% of your activity as a coach, as a business owner. Okay, so that 20% is crucial for you to be the front and center because no one has the knowledge that you do. And so majority of your time, that knowledge is going to allow you to have the strategy and to have use the formula in order to get more leads, get more traction into your coaching business. And that traction that leads is going to help you to generate revenue. Okay, so if you've been focusing on, oh, I need to create and organize this. No, you don't. 
what you need to focus on is creating the content so that that can actually become your sales force, a 24 seven sales force for you so that you don't have to do a lot of things that you're currently doing. Okay. So I know I, I cover a lot, but five benefit of what you should be considering uh, content marketing if you have not already done so. And if you want to learn more about what and how content marketing is going to help you to create that consistent flow of paying clients, you definitely need to come and join me in the Visibility Marketing Bootcamp that's going to take place Friday, September 20th. I'm going to teach you this repeatable strategies and formula of how to grow your coaching business. And all you have to do is go to visibilitymarketingbootcamp.com and go ahead and sign up and I will see you in the class. All right. Bye.